about thrasher video and this is a request from my so yeah see your Lord just as you see this full moon you shall see your Lord the comparison is to the people looking at the moon and the people looking at Allah you will see your Lord just as you see this full moon no one will be fighting no one will be arguing to see it everyone will be able to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The greatest blessing of Jannah is not Jannah. The greatest blessing of Jannah is not the things inside of Jannah. Rather, the greatest blessing of Jannah is something even more than Jannah itself. Allah says in the Quran, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا الْحُسْنَى وَزِيَادَةً Those who do good, they shall get Al-Husna, which is the name of Jannah. They shall get Al-Husna وَزِيَادَةً and they will get more than Jannah. What could possibly be more than Jannah? Our Prophet explained this verse. He made a tafsir of this verse. And he said, when the people of Jannah have entered Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them, oh my servants, are you happy? The people of Jannah will say, yes, oh Allah, we are. Allah will say, oh my servants, is there anything more that you want? The people of Jannah will say, and what could we want more than this, O Allah? Have you not caused us to enter this paradise? What more could we want? Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift the veil, yakshiful hijab, and they will look at his face. And they will not be given anything better and more noble than the looking at his face. And this is the ziyada that the Quran talks about. This is what the Prophet said. وَهَذِهِ ziyada. This is the thing that is more than Jannah. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا تُنْفِقُونَ إِلَّا بْتِغَاءَ وَجْهِ اللَّهِ You're only spending your money to see the face of Allah. You're spending your money في سبيل الله to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being good to your relatives in order to see the face of Allah. Allah says, you're being patient. They're being patient in order to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran tells us that when we see the face of Allah, when we see the face of Allah, our faces will become bright and shining. We all know the verse. On that day, Faces will be shining bright. Now they're They're going to be shining bright. Why? Because they will be looking at their Lord. Ila Rabbiha Nadira. Ila Rabbiha Nadira. And this shows us that looking at the face of Allah is the greatest blessing given to us. And that face has been described as Dhul Jalali Wal Ikram. The face has been described as a face of Jalal. And Jalal means magnificence. Jalal means honor. Jalal means magnificence. And ikram means nobility. The face of Allah is a face of honor and a face of nobility. Why? Because anybody who sees that face has been honored beyond anyone else. Anyone who sees that face has been given an honor and a nobility that no one else will possess. And that face of Allah, we will not see it in this world. Musa asked to see. But Allah said, you don't have the power. You don't have the, the power, the capability. That is something only in the next life. And a famous hadith of Abu Dhar al-Ghifari. After Isra al-Mi'raj, when the Prophet ﷺ went up, and he went to a place higher than Jibreel. The Jibreel, Jibreel took him up, and Jibreel said, I cannot go anymore. Now you have to go on your own. I'm not allowed beyond this point. So the Prophet ﷺ went higher than any created being has ever been. Then he came back down. Abu Dhar al-Ghifari asked him, 
This hadith is in Sahih Muslim. Very beautiful hadith, very interesting hadith. Ya Rasulallah, hal ra'ayta rabbak? Beautiful hadith. O oh, Messenger of Allah, did you see your Lord? Did you see your Lord? And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Noor Anna Ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? Noor Anna Ara. There was light everywhere. How could I see him? What light is he talking about? What is this light? Our Prophet Sallallahu explained in another hadith. He clarified in another hadith. And this hadith is reported in Abu, by Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim as well. And in it he said, Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is nur. Allah Azza wa Jal has taken a hijab. By hijab we mean a covering. Allah has taken a hijab. What is that hijab? You see for us the hijab, the hijab covers the beauty. It covers the beauty and it envelopes the beauty. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hijab itself is beauty and what is covered is beyond imagination. What it covers is beyond what the mind can comprehend. So our Prophet said, Hijabuhu nur Allah's hijab is light. Law kashafahu, if he were to lift that hijab, la ahraqat subuhatu wajhihi mantaha ilayhi basaruhu min khalqihi. The rays of light that come from Allah's face would destroy everything that it sees. The beauty, the radiance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so powerful that the creation cannot bear to see it. So when the creation cannot bear to see it, out of mercy for the creation, Allah has veiled Himself from us in this dunya. And what is His veil? His veil itself is light. So when our Prophet went up all the way to Isra wal Mi'raj, he saw the veil of Allah. So when Abu Dhar asked him, what did you see? Did you see Allah? He said, Noor Anna Ara. There was the light. Okay guys, I just finished watching this video and this is the first time for me to watch this video. And yeah, nice. Wow, this talking about the face of Allah. Even Prophet Muhammad the best human being in this world, uh, see only uh, a nur or a light of Allah, and it's called like hijab or covering and something like that. Okay, and yeah, something I get from this video is much much uh, about Allah and also about paradise yeah. so thank you so much for asking me to react to this video yeah and it gave me um, knowledge more knowledge about that and I have me and all of you there all of us live in the world um, have blessed uh, and Allah give us paradise place in paradise I mean okay thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye